Welcome back. In today's video, I am going over how to create a multi-layer design in Procreate and then how to get that into Affinity Designer. And this is specifically for greeting card designs. To start a new design or to start a new document, hit the plus sign, create custom size. And then it always pops up in pixels. I changed that to inches. And when you're doing a design for a greeting card, you want to make sure that you include a bleed. Uh, standard in the US is an eighth of an inch on each side. So if you are doing like a flat card, you can just add 0.25 to that. So if you're doing five by seven, you could do 5.25 and 7.25. However, if you are doing a folded greeting card, which is pretty much the norm, you need to do only the 0.25 on the height and then on the width you only need one side of that to have a bleed so you will do 5.125 and always make sure to do a DPI of at least 300 300 is the standard for printing once you have your custom canvas created all you need to do is hit create I'm just going to X out of this because I have already created my design and those were the exact width, height, and DPI that I used to create my design. So going back to the gallery, open up, opening up my design, you can see that I have a total of four layers, really three if you don't include the background. And it's easier to, to do this if you ever need to go in and make any changes. I highly recommend doing layers in all of your designs. To export this, go up to what looks like the wrench. Um, for this, I want to export as a PSD file so it keeps all of the layers in it. And then you have the option to save it however you would like, to something like Dropbox or to Drive. If you have a Mac, you can airdrop it. Mine's not on right now, so I'm just saving mine to Dropbox. And it makes it really easy to open it up on your computer. Now, if you want to do individual layers, it is best to do so as a PNG so it remains transparent. So in this case, I want to go in and I want to take out all of the extra layers and do one at a time. So starting with the texture, going back, sharing, and going to PNG. Once again, I'm going to save to Dropbox. Make sure to rename the file, save, and then continue to do this for all of your files. And then I am just going to switch over to my computer and then go over exactly how to set this up in Affinity Designer. I am back on my computer. I have already opened the PSD file and opened up the card template. If you're not quite sure how to create a template for cards, I will leave a link. Uh, you'll see it up in the top right hand corner of the video. It'll be a little like I, um, and it goes over how to set up greeting cards for Affinity Designer. Going over to the PSD file, I'm just going to select everything and it's actually easier to group it before moving it over. So as you can see, all four of my layers have been selected. Just hit Command G to group or right click and group. And then to copy, hit Command C. And as always, you can also go up to edit and then copy. Going back over to the card, hit Command V to paste or you could go to edit and paste. And it has popped it into the other side of the card. So just click, hold shift, and then drag to the other side. And it is in place. As you can see, it has the bleeds set up. All you need to do is put in the back information for the card. And if you wanna make any adjustments, like I am going to move this around slightly, right click, ungroup, and I just want the beard and the text 
and I want to center this a little bit more. So I'm happy with that. And like I said, all you need to do is put in any of the back information you want on the card and save it as a PDF if you want to print. Also make sure to save it as an affinity file so you can go in and make any edits that you would like. The other way of doing this, if you had just transferred individual layers in a PNG format, I'm going to start off with the background because that's not something that I did in the file or when I transferred the layers. And I'm fine with that green color for now. can always change it later. Go to File and Place. And in this folder I've already set up, you can see all three of the layers. You can select as many layers as you want or you can do them individually. I find it easier to just go ahead and do all three and they'll stay together. So click open. In this case, it is quite a bit larger than what we would like it to be. So you just need to make adjustments. So once again, it's set up. You can put in any of the back information, just like before you can select the layers to make any adjustments that you would like. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.